Imagine I were to show up at the IRS office and I would say to him, gentlemen, I'm a pretty crafty guy. I could have paid one-tenth of the taxes with just a little bit of deviousness, a little bit of craftiness. So therefore, I don't ask for that type of reduction. All I'm asking you is for 35% off of my taxes. Needless to say, they'd laugh at me. The fact that you didn't cheat doesn't entitle you to a discount. So too, if I would say to them, you know, I could have outright defrauded the government. I literally could have stolen. So therefore, give me $10,000 bonus. They're not going to accept that because by not stealing, not cheating, you don't get rewarded. Astonishingly, though, the Torah tells us that if you don't violate an Isser, if you don't violate a prohibition, you're given reward. The Chavetz Chaim quotes that any moment that a person closes his mouth and doesn't speak Lashon Hara, he's given reward that no malach, no angel, no creation can ever imagine or envision. Just that activity of sustaining that quiet, not saying those words, I'm given reward that's unimaginable because the Torah system is very different than any mortal system.